Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Metroid. In the last episode, we took out our first boss, Kraid, after exploring more of Brinstar and beginning to explore Norfair. And in this episode, we are going to continue to explore Norfair with our newly found power-ups, the high jump boots, the spacer beam, and the Varius suit, which protects us from heat damage unless we stand in lava. Uh, once again, we are in this awesome green bubble room. I love the wave effect in the background. I also really like the contrast of green and purple used um, in this room. Uh, I think it is a very interesting color combination, definitely alien. Green and purple are not a common combination as far as I can think, unless we're talking about like maybe grapes, eggplants, something of the sort, I don't know. So we are now starting to get to the portion where I'm going to be a little more loose and explorative because my memory as of this point is beginning to get somewhat hazy as where to go next. I just remember a couple uh, major things that tripped me up the first time around. Um, maybe, maybe I'll recognize a couple power-up locations. Uh, I don't remember there being anything, like, crazy with you, though the further I get into the game, the more confused I'm going to get, I'm sure, because <laughs> seemingly uh, the further I get in, the less I remember, which is ironic because of the fact that I more recently played the end of the game, technically, considering I've only really done one playthrough. Um... But I don't remember it as well as the beginning for some reason. Uh, we can't go that way. Um, they're making it very easy to explore. Very obvious dead ends that uh, we can truly explore later. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, I can't bomb jump for the life of me. It's sooner than I think it is. One, two, 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 two. Really? Huh. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to bomb jump for the life of me, man. <laughs> not in this game. Um, once again, I may practice it down the line. I don't know. I kind of like the, the inability to bomb jump, honestly. Um, it makes me actually play the damn game, <laughs> you know? Uh, I haven't gone down yet. That's true. Oh, this room looks really neat. It's getting hotter and hotter the further we go down. Um, this room is very reminiscent of the many, many, many vertical shaft rooms from good old Metroid 1. Um, is there anything in here? No, it doesn't appear so. This is just a grinding room. Uh, that enemy is fantastic for grinding, even better than the uh, the previous pipe enemy, um, because those ones split into five. And if you have the spacer beam, which is a completely optional power up as far as memory serves, um, you do in fact get a lot of goodies. Here we have the equivalent of a blarg from Super Mario World, um, except they throw shit at you, and it's a whole heckin' lot of not fun, if I do say so myself. Okay, and that looks like a uh, a bubble from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, this seems to be more the way to go, considering something dynamic is happening. So, you know the Metroid rules as of this point, I'm sure, where uh, if it seems like the way to go, don't explore everywhere first, and then go that way. And that's how you maximize efficiency. At least if you want to get lots of things. Um, ooh. Did the, did the texture of that change? Oh no, my eyes are just readjusting as, to, as what the blocks look like. Whoa, that was weird. That was just some kind of weird optical illusion. I have no clue if that happened for any of you. But uh, my eyes adjusted on the glowing part being like the, the center focus of the block instead of like the blocks being like square. I don't know how in the world to describe that. 
Uh, let's pass under this fine gentleman. Uh, this feels like the lava's gonna rise, and we don't like that. Um, there's gotta be a power-up in here. I've, I, I'm sure I've missed, like, a billion power-ups, and I'm going to in this game. Because for whatever reason, I think I'm worse at Super Metroid than the others. <laughs> I don't know if it's just, like, the slightly dated gameplay, but even then, it's really not that big of a deal. Like, I'm doing fine enough, you know? I just... I don't think I can predict their, uh... their placement as well. Their item placement. Their secrets as well as I could prior. Granted, a lot of the time in uh, the other games, they just kind of mark where a secret is on the map, and then I just have to kind of think from that point. A little bit of lag there. Nice, good old NES slowdown. Super NES, rather. Um, please. Wow. Okay, well, I'm not getting up there. That's for sure. Uh, I bet that's just like a single-time fall-through platform. Like, you can only get to it from above. Uh, I'm just going to flat-out not attempt to bomb jump anymore unless I decide to practice it off-screen. I think that that's going to be a, uh, a, beneficial <laughs> a beneficial idea. The Fire Seahorse is an amphibious creature. Interestingly, uh, if amphibious can also mean that they can live in lava as well as land instead of just water and land. Um, ooh. All right, we're going to play a little bit defensive. I remember this game being harder than it is, but I now know that I have to play Metroid defensively because I used to just kind of, you know, rush head in as if it was any other franchise under the sun. Um... I don't think I want to go up that way quite yet. Not that I particularly remember what's up there. But I want to go this way first. Anyway. Oh, I see. I remember these. Haha! Missile Expansion 5 Me. Oh, that's something we can't do yet. Actually, wait, am I screwed? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, game. Okay. So that is a direction that we should not and cannot go quite yet, but it's nice that they put a power up there for those of us who went there before having the other power up that we need. To get through that whole mess. All right. We have a nice explodey boy there. Uh, another instance of these ceiling tiles. Okay. I just totally scuffed my finger on the edge of my desk. That was the best move I've made all week. Um. Well. This is suspicious. Oh. Aha. Um, you can see on the map uh, that the ed the top edge of this room is not, like, bordered. So that's a pretty good indication of when you're- when you should be able to move forward. And they give us a grinding point. Fantastic. All right. Now that we are fully charged up and ready to go, I'm actually curious to see if there's anything on the left side of this dude. Because this is kind of where I would hide something. How did I manage to bomb jump that time? What the f- Oh my god. <laughs> Without even trying. Whoops. Okay. Well, messed that one up. Alright, we just need to book it through this room. We just gotta fucking commit. Go, 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 go. There's got to be something in one of those pits. I feel it in my soul. 
Even though I'm a redhead. No souls here. Ha 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 ha. And now we have one of my favorite power-ups in the series, the Speed Booster. Um, essentially, uh, now that we have this... Oh shit, 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 shit. Well, I guess I'll just show you in practice now, won't I? Um, as we run, if we run for a distance, we can run really fast. And it's pretty great. There are also a couple other techniques we can do with it if memory serves. I think we can do them now. Unless I'm silly. And we need the screw attack to do it as well. Which is also possible. Okay. A couple secret techniques. Oh, that feels like it's possible to get to. Actually, well, to be fair, most stuff is possible to get to. Alright. Though, they kind of thought most of this shit through. Pretty well. Um, what's over here? Oh, wait, there was a missile expansion on this side, wasn't there? Or am I crazy? Yeah, there was. Alright, we need to avoid that guy. The fact that the X is blue makes me think of PlayStation, even though this game, I believe, repeated, uh, preceded the PlayStation, I think? When was this released? Like, 94? Unless I'm crazy? Right? Maybe. Alright, well, we still can't kill the ones that are in the lava. Uh, nor would we want to, because I don't think there's anything for us that way. I didn't even really mean to go that way. Uh, I am gonna go back and save, just in case we die. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that if I die, I'm just gonna be, like, boned. <laughs> Though I haven't died yet. Which is a pretty good sign. I've gotten close, I do believe. If memory serves, I've gotten close, I think. I don't even remember that. Wow. There's that classic good wiggly memory. All right. Take out these fiery boys. Please get away from me. Okay. And now let's go to the left because the left had a speed booster blockage. Uh, what did this have? It was just, was it just the dudes or was there something else down here? Oh yeah, there was that too. Um, though, we can't do anything with that from this side. All right. So now we can break through those blocks with like the arrow on them. And there is another save point in here. A very redundant save point. Which is very funny. Okay. So now... We can go down here, which was also a hot room? Yeah, but there's nothing we can do from this side. So, yeah. Now, I really don't remember what I'm doing. Is it the room above this one? I think so. That was where the high jump boots were, right? Down there? I think so. Maybe. Alright. There's a yellow door. Can't do anything with that yet. We can do something with this, though. Um, not that specifically, but... There we go. Hey! Hey! Look at me! Though, I don't think that's going to matter, because that's just a shortcut back. <laughs> or not really even a shortcut, it's just how you get back. Because I don't think you can build enough speed for 12 hours to get over there. I'm sorry, that was dumb. Okay. Hot room time. Avoiding you guys. This feels like a subspace emissary room. Doesn't it? Or am I crazy? I'm probably just crazy. Okay. So, we have lava. Um, can't do anything with this yet. Shoot, man. 
Huh. Well, in that case, I'm going to... Oh. Alright, so now we're going to do a very highly advanced tactic that only skilled players can use by morph falling in midair. I'm just kidding, it's really not that hard. Oh, well, hey, that's what we need, the ice beam. Perfect, 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 perfect. So the ice beam um, is pretty much the only consistent use of turning off the items because the ice beam does freeze enemies, as you can see, but it also technically makes it do less damage because it takes more shots to kill the enemies since it freezes them. We can freeze these dudes, which is rather helpful. Being able to shoot diagonal, god, I can't imagine having played the first two Metroids, or maybe just the first Metroid, because I don't think the second one sold that well, if memory serves. But, um, uh, I can't imagine having played the first two Metroids, and then just not having been able to shoot diagonally or anything, and then suddenly, all of a sudden, your world has changed. This game must have been mind-blowing in that state. Okay. So now that we have the ice beam, there is a plethora of things open to us. And by a plethora, that means that I can only really think of like one thing right now. Um, and I want to backtrack out of Norfair, because now we can finally go back to where we were before. We've been technically trapped in Norfair this whole time. So I'm sure that there's some crazy tech that you can pull to get out of here. Mostly bomb jumping, honestly. Um, I remember something that I I remember something that I did. Uh, remember that pipe. I remember something that I did. Uh, most of my initial playthrough was just kind of run around and shoot every wall to see if there was a a power up or something in them. All right, now we can freeze these dudes. Was there something freeze related here? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Up there was just the spacer beam, right? I think so, yeah. Okay, oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. So now, we can freeze these guys. Voila. And now we can finally escape our eternal punishment and innocent sin Okay. I think I'm funnier than I am. I'm well aware of this. Uh, instead of going further up currently, um, I'm going to go back this way and grab the power-up that I wanted to grab initially. Alright. Boo-doo. Uh, I believe it's just right over here. What? Damn it! Okay, never mind. I guess I'm not grabbing it. <laughs> I'm super happy that I don't know this game incredibly well. I'm, I'm glad that I can still have moments like that. Okay, we can still do stuff. That is called a Shine Spark. Uh, you've probably seen me do it uh, if you've watched me play um, Zero Mission. Though, in Zero Mission, it doesn't take your health. In this game, it takes your health. It won't kill you, but uh, it does take your health, and I'm glad that that's something that they didn't continue, because it's kind of obnoxious, honestly. Uh, I believe that there are some required to shine sparking, but if memory serves, there isn't any crazy shit you have to do with shine sparking, like in Zero Mission, uh, thankfully. All right, here we have these plants, and also great music, but plants. Um, I think those look really cool. Um, something about carnivorous plants really weirds me out, and simultaneously, I think they're cool as hell. 
Alright, I don't want to go down that way yet. It's because we do have a safe point up here. And we are at full capacity on everything currently. So, let's go ahead and uh, peep that one out. Save completed. Uh, so yeah, going further up is going to take us to Criteria, and the second boss that we need to face is in Criteria. So, I instead would love to go down this way. Once again. Now that I know what's up there. Okay. I think I remember this room. I I think this is one of like the tricky power-ups that I do remember. Okay. We have these jerk enemies. Oh my gosh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Uh no, it is not, but you may know what I'm talking about. It involves those those flower enemies. So now we have a power bomb. Uh it allows us to lay a power bomb and explode a lot of things. It's basically a screen nuke. Um, if you're stuck in a room or you think there's a secret in the room, power bomb. Easy. That's all you gotta do, man. Uh, though I tend to be uh, too liberal. Liberal. Oh my god. <laughs> too liberal with my power bombs for my own good. Oh my goodness. Liberal. Come on. What are you doing, brain? Thankfully, enemies drop power bombs pretty consistently, though I kind of like it when uh, power bombs are just kind of a super version of a bomb and they just take five bombs or you charge them up or something rather than being their own shtick. All right, please get away from me. As you can see, it doesn't always freeze the enemies immediately. Aha! Here's what I was thinking of, because this flower doesn't have anything in it. So, why don't we fill that void? By hopping down and grabbing a power bomb expansion. That is one of a few uh, power-ups that I remember. There's really not that many. I think off the top of my head, there's like one more <laughs> other than that and the pipe. Uh, that I was taught, that I pointed out before. Other than that, nah, <laughs> I don't remember anything, <laughs> really. Um, once we get past the second boss, I'm really going to be struggling, I think, and I'm excited for that. Alright, I didn't mean to lay a power bomb, but I did anyway, and that's fine. Thank you for continuing to use red soil. Alright, I'm not using the charge shot that much. I'm not really sure why. But I just kind of prefer to, to blast them over and over. Alright. So what do we have to the left? Everything we own is in a box to the left. Uh, ah, yes. If we desire... Oh, whoops. Uh, well, further that way is where our ship is. But if we want to explore this area, I'm sure that there is something neat for us to find. Okay, yep. There's a whole lot of stuff, actually, in this room. Thank God Samus doesn't take fall damage. All right, so I want to go up here. Uh, no, never mind. This is a great area for you to uh, get used to the shine sparking if you want to practice it, because not only does Samus's ship act as a save station, but it also acts as a full restore to everything you have. Which is kind of weird, considering she only just got power bombs and stuff here, but you know, we won't think about it too hard. Oh my gosh, okay. Come on. 
All right. So to pull off a Shine Spark, you want to duck, and then you want to press the direction that you want to go in. Uh, it doesn't look like I did what I wanted to do. And it also doesn't look like we can, it also doesn't look like we can shine spark diagonally in this version. Fucking zero mission, dude. <laughs> Some of that stuff in zero mission just needs to back right off, honestly. All right. I swear that there is a power up up here. God, I swear. I swear that there is. Alright. Alright. Come on. Can I Mega Man wall jump? I think you can. I think you can, actually. If memory serves, you can just kind of... Am I dumb? Am I wrong? I was pretty sure that you could just infinitely wall jump up walls. Maybe not, though. Welcome to Wiggly Fucks Around in Super Metroid. Why am I- why am I morph balling? Yeah, you can. You can. You can. Very cool. Alright. Um, I don't know why I did that. I remember there being something in this wall. One of the- one- like, one of these little wall portions here. I swear that there is. Ugh, God. I was sure of that, but perhaps not. Alright, well, I am currently out of energy, and that was a nice waste of everybody's time. Which is technically what I'm here to do if you think about it really hard. But, you know... Calling myself a waste of time isn't exactly a very nice thing to do. Even though that's not really what I meant. Alright. I'm going to explore this room a little more, and then I will meet you guys over with whatever the heck I find next. Oh, hey, hey, I knew it. I knew that there was something in this wall. I was absolutely 100 fucking percent positive of that. This was the one other power-up that I remembered that I mentioned before. Because um, there is a, a lot of stuff in here, honestly. And this section is honestly kind of brutal. Um, unfortunately for me. Okay. So we don't want to be too crazy in here. Okay. Oh. No. That's not cool, buddy. Oh, please. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Alright. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Yeah, I remembered this section being really hard. Okay, well, now we know it's there. I'm gonna go back to it with more health. I needed to show off the death screen eventually, anyway. Alright. But, honestly, I think that that is a good place to end off the episode. I'm glad that I'm not crazy. I'm glad that there is something up there. Um... If I can remember what it is, I think it's two power bomb expansions are related to that. I think. I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> that's, that's like a. I'm like 70% sure of that. <laughs> All right. But anyway, I think that is a good place to end off this episode. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I know it's a little more casual than uh, I usually am about Metroid, but 
I'm having a lot of fun re-experiencing this game with you guys. So anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Metroid. I've been Guildmaster Wiggly, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you know, uh, and if you want to follow my Twitch or Twitter, they're in the description. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.